Well, I'm just trying to stay above water, you know? Just stay busy, stay working. Puff told me, like, the key to this joint, the key to stay on top of things is to treat everything like it's your first project, you know what I'm saying? Like it's your first day, like I wasn't even an intern. Like, that's how you try to treat things, like, just stay hungry. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all wanna know why you don't stop? Y'all wanna know why you don't flop? Let me tell you, beep, beep. I came from the bottom of the block. I, when I was born, it was sworn. I was never gonna be. Had to pull the opposite. I was, had to get my ride. Right. Had to get these chips. Had to make It's sad to say, but I like to say, you know, Kingston right now, I, it's really sad to say uh, basketball or the street life. This town has some temptations and struggles for, for a lot of kids. Some fall into it, some don't, but there, there's a lot of good here. If you're not a person from Kinston and you just hear a lot about it, you would just think it's a violent town because of all the shootings and all the killings. But uh, I, I just think it's made me what I am today. It's a small town feel. There is a tight-knit community. Everyone celebrates their own. It, you go around town and you basically know everyone. The guys that do do the violent things or whatever, they know to just uh, just keep those things away from me. Brandon always been exposed to basketball, and I came up playing in the gym, playing in the rec league, uh, traveling all over the United States playing. Four or five years old, I used to go to my my dad's rec ball gym. His brother um, Bo played, and Brandon, of course, was much younger than Bo. He's seven years older than me, and. Um, I always try to challenge myself and play against those group of guys. Kingston, you know, known for great players and stuff like that. Everybody was wondering, who's the, who's the next big one? Well, I got to hear about this kid at uh, Rochelle Middle School named Brandon Ingram. Of course, everybody's running to the gym because Brandon's at Rochelle. Pretty clear cut, we knew who the next big one was. A kid's dream around here is to, of course, make Kingston High basketball team. It really, to me, it can make or change a life. Kingston High School has a great tradition with basketball. It's been so much talent that has come through. Coming into high school, I knew I had to prove myself, and um, and that's something I worked so hard. Uh, going back and forth to Atlanta to meet uh, Jerry Stackhouse to work out with him, him coming down to me, working out with his AAU team. As a ninth grader, you know, um, Brandon had the opportunity to get some big minutes. The first time I saw him play, I was blown away by how talented he was, how skilled he was. And as I watched him over and over, the last thing that blew me away, probably more than anything, was how tough he was. You know, socially, he never was, he never had to be, you know, on a Friday, Saturday night going to wherever somebody's hanging out. You know, he was happy if if he uh, was in the gym working on his game. He didn't even go to his senior prom. That's where he was, in the gym. That's pretty remarkable right there. That speaks volumes of the man. I mean, you know, everybody you always want to talk about the prom. We all want to talk about going to the prom, prom, prom. And that lets you know how focused this young man was. All he wanted to do was what? Work out. I always had a dream and I knew um, to, to fulfill that dream, I had to be focused and do everything that I could to get towards that dream. My dad has a rec gym right around the corner, so I'm there a lot. And uh, I wasn't a, a party guy, so uh, I was always there. The gym has always been a sanctuary for him. This rec center here, I mean, it's been vital in the uh, Kingston community. He would leave the gym open to maybe 12 midnight because he knows that some kid is walking the street and if uh, if they, you want somewhere to go and you want to play basketball, that is always open. His dad being uh, a director of the gym and everything like that, this place is kind of famous in Kingston because, you know, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. From coming into the gym 12, maybe 1 o'clock in the morning, just to make himself better. You know, he's earned everything he, he's gotten. You know, he worked on his game. It wasn't just given to him. He had to fight, you know, to get where he is today. I don't know of, of very many people that will ever be able to say they had the high school career that Brandon Ingram had. You know, he's one of two guys that won four uh, 
high school basketball state championships and his teammate was the other and uh, you know it's just uh, it's amazing what he did. This is a special day uh, for Brandon Ingram, um, his family as we get to hear where he's going to choose to play his college basketball. This is a very heavy based Carolina town. The kid was rare for a kid in Kinston in that he grew up a Duke fan. At a young age, his older brother, Bo Ingram, he bought him a Nolan Smith jersey. I was like, wow, man, I got my first jersey. That was my first jersey. So I wore it all the time and I fell in love with the way they played and that became my team. During the recruiting process, Coach K and his entire staff did a home visit and um, it was very impressive. I'm not a guy that gets excited much, but uh, when I seen Coach K coming to my house, I was, I was very excited. I mean, it's kind of a dream school kind of thing. The next fall, I will be attending Duke University. Brandon wants to be the best. So I'm quite sure Brandon felt like going to Duke, playing under Coach K with all the experience of Olympics and the championships that Duke have won, the five championships that Duke has won. Brandon wanted to be associated with a winner, coupled with the fact that that was his lifelong dream. You know, when he did commit to us, you know, it was a great day for all of us, including Brandon, because now a dream came true. And, and boy, did he make the most of it during his one year with us. As good as we thought that he would be, and we knew he'd be really good, he was better. Starting off here, I struggled a lot. Uh, the whole month of November, I wasn't myself, and uh, I can remember going back to the Indiana game. Um, I had a very good game that night, and it was around the beginning of December, and uh, I just tried to build off that, build my confidence. From the Indiana game on, there wasn't a better player in college basketball. He's a very quiet guy, but he did a great job of letting his game do the talking. Every time we cut the TV on, it was exciting. You know, I think it brought a lot of pride in our community. Being at Duke, it was more than I expected. It helped me be a better man and, and most definitely helped me be a better basketball player. He's a competitor and he's tough and he wants to be great. It's not one of these guys who just talks about it. You know, he lives it every day. Brandon loves the process of becoming good. A lot of kids want to be good. They have the potential to be good, but they don't fall in love with the process. You know, to come off an incredible year at Duke and, and to, to see him grow under the leadership of, of, of Duke basketball and Coach K, and you just see this continuance of just a, a kid that wants to continue to get better. I think ultimately he wants to be one of the best players in the world, and I think that's how he's wired. He wants to be the best at, at everything he's going to step out there and do. Well, I think Brandon has a chance to be one of our best pros. Uh, again, I think his best basketball is ahead of him. Watching Brandon for four years at Kingston High, watching him at Duke University. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit for Brandon Ingram, and yes it is. This is something you dream of, and um, um, you just got to work really hard and try to get where they're at. He's not through growing, not just putting on weight. You know, he's 18, and you know, he could grow, he could be taller, and then he wants to be good. I think he could be very unique and become a star in the NBA. He's going to have a lot, a lot of fans, you know, all over, all over the world, but especially in Kinston. Right before the tournament, Coach K had come up to me and told me to be that hungry guy from Kansas. And always remember that going to the next level of basketball. 